Welcome back, foul mouth fishing. Ay, ay, ay. Finally, I have some time, scoot up here, to crack into our August Angler's Hall. Uh, if you don't know what Angler's Hall is, it's another subscription box. Um, gives you a monthly uh, subscription to not so much bait and tackle, but uh, bait, tackle, and utilities, uh, tools, apparel, hats, shirts, etc., etc. And that allows you not just to catch fish, but to get out onto the water and go fish. Um, this is a bit of a surprising thing. So, you may have seen No Redemption Outdoors, or uh, shortly I think Goondocks. Big, uh, big thumbs up to them. Uh, they're going to be doing their unboxings for these and have their own critiques on the, uh, on the things that are inside the advanced tier. Both of them get the advanced. Um, a little bit of a shocker is... Uh, they didn't send the advanced tier in an advanced box. They sent this month's advanced tier in a pro level box. And they didn't put a sticker over it to kind of tell you that it's an advanced package. So uh, because the items that they have for this month um, were small enough, they didn't actually have to go to the larger size box. So they shipped everybody out in the pro size, pro style box. But if you have the advanced package like I do, uh, like Boon, uh, Goondocks does, and like uh, No Redemption Outdoors has, they just put that extra item in this box. Now, because I was confused, as was uh, No Redemption, um, I actually opened this already. And it's a good thing that I did because they also lacked putting in a what's in the box card. So I got a cheat sheet. Um, which is kind of cool because for the first time, I went out and I researched what the prices of these items should be by going to all the different major, uh, you know, sales. You got eBay, etc., etc. But I didn't do the auction sales. I did specifically stores. As well as, um, I contacted Angler's Hall directly. And they later, actually last night immediately, they, uh, they sent me out their actual list. So they gave me a PDF file with their prices as they put it in the package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quote the item, the price they have, and uh, I'm also going to quote what I found it for. So there are some differences between what they list as their MSRPs and what I could find it elsewhere at. So we'll start out with in their uh, order. Uh, first off, for the August uh, Angler's Hall Advanced tier, we have the Booyah's Prank. Booyah Prank, this is in the Moon Phase Shad color. Um, it is basically a uh, feather dress treble popper um, with a twist because it's a lipped popper. So you can pop this or run this like a crankbait uh, for a little subsurface uh, waking crankbait style fishing. It's a really good, nice, nice popper, works well. Um, all honesty, the last time I was out on the water, I lost my popper. <laughs> I took out my um, my uh, <laughs> my Z concept and uh, the new rod that I bought, and I was casting out, trying to do a little top water uh, just to see how you know how it cast, what kind of light light um, lures I could throw on it with the setup that I have. Get the uh, you know get the uh, concept Z dialed in. And I snagged it on a down tree limb and, uh, you know, out in the water. Uh, and, uh, yeah, she's, she's gone now. But it's nice because I got a replacement. And, honestly, I got a replacement that is a fair bit better, uh, in my opinion, than the little cheesy uh, Walmart popper that I lost. So, can't complain about that. Uh, the Booyah Prank, they list this at Angler's Hall for $9.99. Um, I also found the prank at $9.99. So, that's a... Uh, Apples to apples, dead on price comparison. They're the same. 
Uh, next up on their list is the Yum's Bad Mama. This is a full pack of Bad Mamba Mama in the green pumpkin and purple. So you have basically a cray, a craw plastic. Um, comes with a little purple flake and a green bump pumpkin. Excellent for pitching, flipping, Texas rig, trailers to a buzz bait, trailer to a, a, a jig head. Um, let's pop this off. Crack open those appendages. You got those four nice trailers. You get basically you get the brush hog style flaps on the back with you know long wing craw imitation claws and a uh, really really oily and uh, a nice green pumpkin with some purple and black flake in there. Full pack, which is always appreciated. Anglers Hall always gives you full packages, no samples ever. So you get a full eight pack. Uh, Texas rig, jig trailer, Carolina rig, great for flipping and pitching. Flipping and pitching. You'll see where that comes in handy uh, a little later in the uh, presentation today. The Yums, they have them at $3.49. Now that is actually cheaper than what I found it. I found the 8-pack of Yums for $3.99. So Angler's Hall actually quoted a cheaper price. So that's a, that's a good thing. I like that. I like to see that because that shows me a little bit of honesty on their part. Take it or leave it, you know, obviously these companies are trying to pull a profit out of this. I don't care what you say, you're not getting, they're not charging you, or they're not paying the MSRP, but they're giving you an idea of the MSRP, and you're getting charged. they got to balance it out. They're not going to lose money or the company wouldn't be in business. So that was cool. $349, their price for the Bad Mamas. Uh, at the end of the video, in the descriptions, I'll list their MSRP price um, rather than just my, my thing, because there are some things that I found more expensive like this and some things I found a lot cheaper. Um, third on the list, the Creek Chubbs brand Knucklehead. So, world record lures, their Knucklehead, they have it, they have it listed as a knuckle hat <coughs> had on their list, but I know it was Knucklehead. Um, this is a 3D eye jointed popper surface spook plug. So it's basically a, a, a popping spook. Feather treble, again, dress treble on the back. Um, this is another shad pattern, they call this one. This is the CCI Knucklehead Junior thread fin shad is the color they had for this. Um, again, it's a really nice, nice pattern. Uh, really good, I like the 3D eyes, really, really good detail on it. Not that the fish really will see those ink patterns. I, I, I prefer like a 3D um, add-ons, you know, carving into it. But when it's painted, it's painted. Good trebles. These are saltwater um, style hooks. Um, and again, it's, it's a jointed popper. So that one, not bad. Uh, I like that. And this is, let's see, they, have a, they don't have a weight on it, do they? Uh, weighted for long casting, 3D strong saltwater hooks. Yeah, I can tell that just by looking at it. Um, yep, jointed head and body, uh, super popping action. I don't have a weight on it. I'll try to, I'll scale it and tell you what the weight is in the description below. Uh, again, MSRP from Angler's Hall on the Creek Chubbs Knucklehead is $8.99. I found it online for $9.54. So, again, they, with their, their junior, was cheaper than what I would have quoted had I not gotten the information from Angler's Hall. So again, that's a good thing. Next, a bait that I've had in the past. It's nice to have another one. Sadly, it is the same color I think I have already. Uh, but we got the Booyah's Toad Runner. So this is your basic soft body frog. It's not really a toad, it's a frog, because uh, it's a collapsible soft body. Um, not a solid soft body. Oh my god, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? They glue this thing? Fine. Oh. Can't make this easy. All right, so this is in the bullfrog color, which again, I already have the bullfrog color. color. It comes with a spare boot. So you have this little boot tail. Turns this standard little frog into uh, basically a um, like the whopper plopper, the, the plopping toad on the back end, um, the buzz toads. Again, they, they really short trim these skirts, they have to because of that 
that boot swinging in the back, if they had a full length skirt on the or for legs, this would get caught up and, and twisted around and you'd lose that. So it's nice that they trim them, them back. It's got those nice uh, copper eyes. Really, really supple, really soft plastic. Purchase will buy. Um, that one, again, is the bullfrog color. And again, no weight. I'll, I'll leave the weight in the bottom, in the, in the description. It's nice they also include, again, when the tail gets chewed up or, or dinged or gets caught on something, you can snap the other replacement boot on. Uh, that's good. Their Toad Runner, $9.99. It's an older model. Um, I found the same price, $9.99 for the Booyah Toad Runner. Next, these are all pro tiers. Uh, next is the SA, the SA, which is a uh, salt, salt armor company, SA company. Um, basically, it's a neck buff. Uh, you've already seen these face buffs. Everybody puts them out. It's really nice with the uh, COVID-19 issues that we're having with the viral infections that they give you these. It protects you uh, from the sun, from the elements. You don't want to get skin cancer on your nose, or on your cheeks, uh, under your eyes. It's really important when you're out fishing, bank or boat, um, wear some protection. Cover your arms, cover your hands, cover your eyes and face, uh, sunglasses. Keep those UV light, uh, rays off of you and prevent yourself from getting uh, skin cancer. It's quite important. Now, here's where I argue. Um, SA Company sells their buffs in packages of five for $20. At $20 for a five pack, that puts each one of these individually at $4 roughly per uh, face shield. So I quoted online at $4 for this. Uh, the Angler's Hall quotes $14.99, $15 for this one buff. I cannot honestly say that. It's a $4 buff. If you're going to charge me $15, I want to see three or four of these. Obviously, you're going to charge you $20. I want to see all five. Um, that is what that is. It's their MSRP. It's a bit of an inflation to cover their, their cost expenditure, I'm sure. Um, if they're paying that much, for these, if they're paying eight or ten dollars a piece, uh, they're idiots. Uh, they should definitely be getting them, uh, you know, four to go for twenty bucks and handing them to us for five or six dollars. If they'd said six dollars, I'd be a lot more respectable with that quote, uh, because again, I know that they're going to uh, be adding money to cover their cost and to make a little bit of a profit, and they're excusing that in the package price value. I can understand that, but not fifteen. That's a little bit exorbitant. All right. Next, Glacier Gloves um, from Glacier Glove Company. This is awesome. I'm happy to have it. I'm getting ants on that chair, so I'll move here. Um, the Glacier Glove Company is a really good premium glove manufacturer for, for anglers. These are straight out of my saltwater days. Uh, these gloves are, again, SPF 50, so they protect you from the sun. Um, they keep you warm in cold weather. They're reinforced in the palm because these are actually what they call stripping and fighting gloves. So if you're long lining, if you're trolling um, and you got to strip off line off your reel, these are padded so that you can grab that line between your palm and strip it off. And also when you're fighting the fish, come up to the boat, definitely deep sea trolling, saltwater fishing. Um, that line's not, not going to cut into the gloves because of this reinforcement on the palm. They still give you the textile, or the tactile, I should say, uh, by cutting the textile away, they give you the tacti tactile ability to pinch things and, and tie knots because they're fingerless, um, but they give you that protection for that reinforced palm. High quality, I will say, Glacier Gloves always puts out quality, uh, quality products. Um, they're quoting this at $24.99. Uh, I found the Glacier Gloves for everywhere, uh, moderate of, of price points. I found them for $19.99 for this style. I found them for $28.49 on the high end for this style. So I went down the middle and I quoted, I was going to quote $24. Bucks because that's basically in the middle of the $20 and $28. I, I quoted $24. Bucks. So they have $24.99. So again, what I found online, if you're not dumb enough to pay the $28, or if you're savvy enough to find the $20, um, $24. Bucks I'll give them that. That's, a, that's an accurate and, and wise quote. All right, so that's the pro tier items. Again, it's a pro box. You've got your Booyah Prank, 9 dollars 
the Yum Bad Mama Soft Plastics for pitching and flipping. For $349, the Creek Chub Knucklehead uh, Jointed Popper, that is $899. The Booyah Toad Runner for $999. The Salt Armor brand Neck Buff for $1499. And the Glaciers Stripping and Fighting Gloves uh, for $24.99. The Pro Tier, they retail this value at $72.44. You basically pay 43, 44 bucks to get the pro level item package, and you're getting a $72 return. So that's not a bad value um, purchase to profit. Um, so I'll give them that. Honestly, I can I can live with that, and I can quote on their prices as being very accurate. Aside from the gloves, and aside from the uh, yeah one other item that I found a couple of dollars cheaper or a couple of cents cheaper, really. Now. I buy the advanced tier. Again, they didn't sell this, uh, or they didn't ship this in the advanced box because obviously they could fit everything into the smaller box and that saves them on packaging and shipping because obviously when you mail something, it goes by size as well. This is actually an undervalued, underestimated item. Now, if I recall, this was an iCast 2018, maybe 2019 product. This is, uh, it's a Zeb co-holding, if you don't know. This is Quantum. Quantum's Reels, uh, which is owned or held by Zebco, the makers of the Doc Demons, uh, all those, like, bulletproof, super awesome uh, ro reels, or rods, I should say, not reels. The Zebco Reels are neither here nor there, but their rods are, are freaking awesome uh, for what you pay. Quantum is an, is an inexpensive product line. However, this right here, this is their... Performance Tuned Quantum's Accurist Series 3. Now, what they shipped me, and this is the important part when you're researching reels, pay attention to these numbers up here. This is an AT-101 SPT. They have 100 HTs, they have 101 HTs, 101... There's a, a series, a bunch of series. The key thing with this 101 is, again, uh, when you sign up for Angler's Hall, you're going to actually fill out a questionnaire. It's going to ask you, are you a right-hander or are you a left-hander? What size? Obviously, the gloves need to be fitted for my hands. Are you a small, medium, or large? Uh, so, you know, I get large uh, or medium uh, clothing. I get uh, right-hand or left-hand retrieve, uh, you know, reels when it comes to bait, cast, bait casters. As, uh, the 101, I believe, is because it's a left-hander. I get the left-hand supply. The key to, the, to this accurate series three and again they give you this nice booklet with your warranty information uh, you can purchase you know items hats and stuff for uh, you know from quantum uh, product information etc uh, put that aside so I don't lose it in the wind this is a very undervalued reel and I would stress go to I'll leave the link um, I believe it was real test that did this did a, a rundown of this reel I don't know if it was this model or if it was the previous um, uh, Protuned version, but there's there's three main things about this that actually stand out. All right, so the Protuned is really good. The way Quantum asks you to set these reels up is they want you to turn your brake settings all the way up to max and then tune your, your spool tension knob here, which is clicking, which is always good. You like a clicking spool tension knob. So that's a premium add-on to something uh, at a very inexpensive price point. Um, tune that so that your bait, put a real bait on it, don't put a, uh, a casting plug. Put a real bait on it, br uh, side plate brakes all the way up to max, and this sp uh, spool tuning knob turned just so that the bait lowers slowly. That's how they ask you to, to prep your reel for whatever you're, you're fishing. That said, second part about this and what makes this more of a premium reel for a very low price point this has got one of the lightest um, spools this is almost like in the bait finesse um, spool range um, it's very light I think it's like 11 or 12 grams so that means you can pitch pretty small light lures with very good accuracy um, and very good casting distance because the rotational mass allows that um, on a light, lighter spool, 
you, you can really toss this out there. You're not going to bomb them like you're going to do with a higher end reel, you know, a $400, $500 reel, but uh, it, it'll get them out there for you and it'll give, get them out there with accuracy. Okay, there's those two things. Number three, and the most important part of this, and what's overlooked by a lot of, of people looking at this reel, um, this little switch right here. All right, that switch, um, it's an on and off, and basically, what that is, what do they call it? Uh, I don't want to get the wrong terminology. Uh, well, it's got ceramic, it's got a ceramic, um, Anyway, that switch, basically what that does is it turns your thumb, your thumb bar into a spring-loaded uh, handle, basically. So in the, in the off position, it's a flipping switch. Brain, welcome back. It's, it's a flipping switch. Um, I, I used to have these on an old rod and reel setup that I had. I had a few on my salt water. This is basically, this is bringing back salt water memories to me. Flipping switches are awesome. For, for a freshwater angler, off a boat or a bank, especially off a boat, this is a game changer for you if you've never had a flipping switch. Um, basically what it has is, if you're flipping a bait short casting distances, underhand little lobs, to flip it out there, to, to click your spool release lever, flip out the bait, then reach over, grab, and re-engage the line to reel it back in. It takes time, okay? So you're flipping it, you're, you're depressing the, the thumb guard, you're flipping it out, you're grabbing it, and you're flipping it. Now, if you're a right-handed, if you're a, a left-handed person or right-handed person, but if you have a right-handed reel, okay, but you're a left-hand retrieve, what basically you're you're doing is like you're casting right-handed your thumb guards going out you've got your your reel handles are on this side so you, you or excuse me reel handles on this side you're, you're hitting the thumb guide you're casting it out you're passing the 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 rod over to your left hand then you're grabbing the handle to start cranking with your right hand that pass over I mean it's like it's like eating at a, at a restaurant with the fork why do we put the fork in our left hand, cut the meat with our knife, then put the knife down, then pass the fork from the left hand into the right hand to shovel the food in your mouth. It made no sense to me. Um, that's one of the reasons why I became ambidextrous in fishing, is it is a lot more logical to me to cast with my right hand and reel with my left and never have to take the rod out of my right hand. That said, for those that have to transfer it over, flipping short distance your bait hits the water, then you're passing the, the handle over to crank with your right. All that time has it hit the water, settle, start sinking, now you're retrieving. If you're trying to do something, you're trying to just get a surface lure or whatever, that's now a sinking, you have to pull it back up, draw it to the surface, and then start retrieving it. And at short distance, you don't have much time. What a flipping switch does, when it flip it to the black dot, that engages the flipping switch section, and now what you actually have is a spring-loaded thumb bar. So you depress it and hold it, and now you free spool to flip your bait. When you let off the thumb bar, it engages as if you were engaging the crank handle. So it's acting like a secondary crank handle, a spring-loaded version of the crank handle. It saves you time, it keeps the bait on the surface if it's a surface lure, it it just, it's a lot better. It also makes flipping out baits a lot simpler in the long run. Um, like I say, when you were casting in salt water, basically being able to disengage and free spool and then re-engage, disengage, free spool, re-engage, um, that was always a bonus to me. Um, especially fighting a fish that is, you know, three, four, five hundred pounds and it's tiring the hell out of you, you can let them take some friggin' line, let them tire, reel it back, let them tire, set your drag. If, if you're in worry that you're going to get caught up in something or break off, give them the line. Let them take the line, get your composure, and then reel it back. You can always get the line back, you know, just instead of being a, an hour-long fight, it might be an hour and 45-minute long fight. But those are the those are the trials and tribulations of big, fish, big game fishing. Um, that little button right there, makes this a very valuable and undervalued budget 
real. Now, big difference in price points between what I could find online, again, this being a one to two year old uh, reel. Um, if it's the one year model, if this is the 2019 model, uh, because of that switch and the color scheme that they have, the, the, I know the 2018 came in like three or four colors. I think it was like red, um, blue, green, yellow, and red, blue, green, and white, or red, blue, there was a couple colors. Um, this is the white version. It's more like a silver to me, a silver white or a pearl white. Um, but uh, at any rate, they value this at a $99.99 reel. Yes, you look, the majority of wholesalers, retailers, they will have this as a $99.99 reel. However, you can find this reel um, as the, as again, as I said, the 101 SPT in right hand for $70.99 and in left hand for $86.95. Those were the cheapest two prices I could find. Um, so I split the difference and called it a $78 reel on my, my end. They're calling it a $99.99. I'll give it to them because the majority of the places I looked was $99.99. Um, but I did hunt down and find it, again, 70, 71 bucks for right hand, $87 for the left hand. Um, it holds 135 yards of 12-pound test line. This one in particular is a 6-3 six, six, three? Six, three to 1 ratio. Very undervalued reel. It's awesome. I'm going to get a medium 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 heavy rod for this um, a good flipping rod um, because that's that's what this is basically designed for is flipping and pitching so now I'm going to make myself a dedicated flipping and pitching um, setup uh, rather than use my cranking rods and then um, flipping and pitching that way um, but nevertheless it's nice to have it's something that brings me back with that button I wish I do wish even as a left hand retrieve I wish they place the button on the opposite side of the spool, but I understand that that's where the gears are. Um, it would be nice if it was more on the top and, and, you know, like up here where the screw is, if they move the screw forward and put it a little higher up that you could thumb it from this position rather than below where it's kind of in line of the cranking rather than out here above the crank handle. Uh, that said, that little bit of, you know, my annoying little, uh, you know, add-on. But uh, nevertheless, what they give, total value for the advanced package, because of the $99.99 reel adding to the value, is $172.43. Um, I hope the carbon ceramic drag system, um, that clicker, uh, clicking uh, 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 spool tension knob, and the, the flipping, flipping knob, or flipping tab, what do you want to call it, pitching and flipping, um, that right there I, I think is worth a hundred worth a hundred dollar rod or hundred dollar reel price point um, it's got ten bearings nine plus one um, I just I mean like I say it is a very good reel and the people that have in the past done critiques on these reels this specific reel have been pleasantly surprised uh, it's aluminum frame construction it, so it's not the super light car you know carbon ceramic and blah 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 on the outside and all that carbon fiber but it's uh, even for the weight, it's worth it, and it's a good, good reel. So I'm I'm happy to have this. Overall, the box was a bit dicey. Um, again, it was it was shocking to find that I got an advanced in a pro. They could last time they did that, they put a little sticker over top where it says pro. Dirt bikes. They put a little sticker over top of where it says pro that said advance. Um, this time they didn't do that. So, uh, all in all, I'm very pleased. $170, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say that the value, because I could find this cheaper, I'm gonna say this is $150, $140 box with the advanced tier, okay? All said and done, the things I could find for a couple of cents cheaper, even with pricing a few things higher, I found it at $140 value for this box. That said, when you buy the Angler's Hall Advanced Package, basically that you're, you know, that's more than what they expect or what more than what they say they'll they'll give you. So 
I made my money. If I spend $109, I got $140 worth of value. I made 35 bucks. So uh, for that, I like it. I like it. I have to say I like it. Um, I'm sure there are those. I know um, I knew Boondocks, he's not exactly pleased. Um, you know, more power to him. I, I'm glad he's, he's uh, enjoyed what he did enjoy. I'm sad that he didn't enjoy what he didn't enjoy. But, hey, I personally don't find this box to be stellar or outstanding, amazing. It's not blow you out of the water kind of quality or, or price. But, but, I'm giving them a little bit of leeway right now with the things with the, the global pandemic. Everybody's suffering in this kind of market. Manufacturers are having trouble manufacturing products. Products and warehouses aren't being shipped. Um, everything's kind of in turmoil. I'm hoping you know, cautiously optimistic as I am on this, I'm hoping that in several months, and I'm being honest, several months from now, as things calm down, when things get back in order, and productions can come back to, to online, and, and warehouses can be restocked, and stocking can go back to normal, um, I'm hoping that we'll start seeing these boxes bump way up in value and product, and get much more amazing things in our packages. Um, that said, this ain't a bad, this is not a bad reel. Some people might look at it and think it's something cheap, especially because it's from Quantum, and they want to see things like Abu Garcia, or, you know, um, you know, those kinds of, of higher-end name brands. Uh, that said, you'd be surprised. This thing competes with them very well. It actually outshines a lot of Abus in that same price range, and uh, it's a sleeper. Let me tell you, it's a sleeper. All right. I hope you enjoyed this, a uh, little change of pace. As you can see, I was making that all day, so I couldn't put this video out. I couldn't spare some time. I was building that for uh, uh, as a display for something very special for where I work, and uh, so my, my time was pressing. But I threw this together as best I could. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you found any of this information enlightening, if you found something informative that you didn't know, for example, that flip switch uh, for flipping and pitching, um, if I helped you in any way understand or discover Angler's Hall, uh, I will link the Angler's Hall um, link down in the description. Uh, use the code that's or the, uh, the link that's there. It'll help out. Um, they do give you, I believe, a discount on your very first subscription to them. Uh, so your first box, you're going to get it cheaper than what you would otherwise pay. So instead of paying $109 and whatever for your first box, you might get it a little bit cheaper. But the advanced tier is a $110 purchase per month. Uh, the standard pro tier is you're not going to get the, the reel in this package. You would just get the gloves, the baits, and the face buff. Uh, that's a 40, I want to say 43 or $44 uh, purchase price. Uh, but then again, you got like $60 worth of products there. Um, again, the only thing is that face buff to me was overmarked, uh, price marked up. That said, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found it entertaining or at least enlightening and educational. As always for me to you, I appreciate you spending time with, uh, with me and all this Hookaholics family. Tight lines, um, be safe out there in this crazy world we're living in. And uh, as always, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Hookaholics.